my good people, welcome, welcome, and welcome back to Mo and Mpaim World. It's your girl Mpaim here, the village girl. Eh? You can see I'm holding a hoe. Yes, is it called a hoe or a jembe in your language? Eh? You will tell me in the se comment section below. So, we, as you all know, we are in the weeding season. And I'm about to go to the shamba. Actually, I'm at uh, the shamba already and it's a maize plantation we already planted the maize now it has grown to this height you can show them the height that it has reached and you see as the maize grow there are also some other plants that come in between eh? in the shamba so for you for you to avoid that competition between the two plants any your main cash crops or your main food food crop that you have grown you have planted in the chamber and the wheat now you have to conduct the process of weeding and by weeding i mean you have to remove the unwanted plants from the main plants eh? and in this case the main plants that we have in this chamber is the maize you can see how they have grown and so guys thank you so much for your support kindly subscribe subscribe and share this video and my other videos with your friends and also with your enemies so let's start the weeding process you see this is how you do it So for me to go faster, I don't want to go on one straight line just like that. Huh? I'll be doing two, two lines at a go. So this is how you do it. Huh? And at some point, if you have already done it, now you remove this that have come out eh? the weeds that have come out as a result of digging them so you remove for them not to continue growing and put them aside eh? you need to put them aside you see this type of mania manual work eh? Most housewives here in the village do it by themselves. Or the people who are well off, they employ other, other people to do it for them. They can't do it by themselves, so they pay people for this kind of work. Eh? And some people are being paid like 200 shillings or more in a in a session and it's mostly done in the morning since people will not get tired easily or if it's not that sunny you can do it even in the afternoon just like today you know it rained yesterday so the ground is still soft and the ground is still soft and if you let it dry it will it will be problematic for you so you have to kuania you do it as early as now so that even if the sun will shine to, will shine tomorrow you will have done something in your farm and it will make your work easier you see by the end chakula ya sungura this type of weed you can feed it your rabbits if you have reared some rabbits you can use this type of weed to give them 
chakula ya sungura ndo hiyo. Ah, here's the far we have gone guys. So we continue with the process. And you can see there are some hens and chicks eh, who are feeding on the worms. You know if you dig the land like this, there are some worms and uh, some other insects that come out. And as a result, it acts as a... So you see, I'm removing this, but um, apparently I'm just going to place it in a, in a certain place since it also acts as a manure or a fertilizer. Hmm? which have just are not upright so you can make them stand again since it rained you know it was windy the rain is was also heavy on the plants so you can just put some sand across them or around them for them to stand upright again Regardless, I have to continue until, until I meet my today's target. Eh? You know, we were here in the village we work by. We go by the target. Eh? We set targets to achieve. By the end of the day, you have to, uh, to accomplish them no matter what. So you don't just act lazy. And you can't be lazy, by the way. While in the village, you can't. You can't. And even if you are lazy, you'll be forced to be hardworking and do all the jobs that all the work that you're supposed to do as a woman especially women women in the village they work so hard you see with our weeding. So weeding helps in removing the unwanted plants. The plants that you didn't plant but they just grow by themselves. Eh? Like our, uh, they are not supposed to be there, but they just show up. Then they show up in such a manner that they even out outdo the the owner or the one who is supposed to be there. We have such kind kind of characters even in us ourselves as human beings. Eh? So in most cases, they just find themselves out. They are weeded out like this. Eh? No matter what, the circumstances will just make them out. The referee will take them out by whatever means possible. You see these chickens or the hens, huh? they are just coming near where you are digging. They are not any other place in any other place. Where you have dug is where they, now they want the worms to come out. Huh? And I have a baby right there who is crying. I think he, now he's become hungry. He's so irritated. We have come to the shamba, then we go to take our lunch. Take shower. Take our lunch. Now, by 
the way, let me ask my director. There are some types of songs, eh? What are they called? The type of songs that uh, our grandparents and our great grandparents that used to sing while in the shamba. The folk maybe, songs. Maybe <laughs> in your area. Here, my, here are people that are always. They don't. Like, no, no, don't. You know, here we have typical African moms. You, you start singing, they then they will start telling you, continue like singing, in, in, continue singing, in, just sing, because, no, what? listen to how they tell you, uh -huh. continue singing, as you finish the songs are going to wait for you, <laughs> <laughs> typical African <laughs> man, no, those ones, you, even standing, they say, okay, continue standing, because your father married me for to be, be digging for you, then you stand, <laughs> they are all, <laughs> hey, the typical, they don't lack answers to <laughs> Yeah, they'll say, you continue, see, you, you, because I'm a cow, your I father brought me here, you. yeah, I will dig for you, your dad knew he, she, he brought a cow here, so continue standing, <laughs> sing, sing properly, louder, <laughs> African moms, African moms, <laughs> I don't want to be an African mom to my kids, <laughs> hey, don't lose our culture, our... <laughs> We have to continue with that culture. Hmm? Like before, long, long time ago, people used to, the most, even up, up to this time, hmm. most mothers have chamas, they, like the women chamas and what have you. So, in some, in some cases or in some instances, you may find that the mom will want to go out. So, when going out and leaving the kids behind, eh, they'll just tell the kids some weird type of statements. Eh? Just to, ah yeah, nimetoka. Zungukeni imta, like, zungukeni ndo watu wajua nimeza watali. Like, eh, I'm, I've gone out, so you just loiter around, loiter around so that people know. <laughs> I born, eh? I gave birth to tourists you see such kind of statements i know they were somehow funny but you know that african mom was very serious when he was telling that so when he when she goes you have to ensure that you don't play very far from the homestay that's eh? because it will bring you some problems if she comes back and you are not around eh? and she left you there to take care of the homestead you see Maybe because of purposes of insecurity and what have you. So guys, I think... Oh! Now I'm tired, eh? And also you can see the weather is not weathering. It's about to rain, eh? So I think I'll continue tomorrow. But you can see how far I've come. Eh? In doing this work. I've done all the way there. Come, come and show them how far I've died. Eh? You see? All the way from there to this place and beyond. So next time or tomorrow, just tomorrow, because this type of work you just need you you just have to do it continuously for you not to get tired and leave some weeds in there. So guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, you can see I've sweat. Me sweat kabisa kabisa. So, wacha tuende kwa nyumba. We go back, we refresh, we freshen up, and we do other things for the day. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye.